Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to talk about something called resizable bar. Uh, I'm just showing you this picture here of a flight that I recently did so that you don't have to stare at my desktop. Um, not going to go tremendously deep into what resizable bar does. Um, first of all, you need a, win a an RTX 30 or higher graphics card for this to work. This will not work on 20 series cards. Even if the option is available, it will not work. So you can, you can actually set it up with a 20 series card, but it won't do anything. It has to be a 30 series card. Um, so resizable bar basically is, and again, I'm not a computer science major, but resizable bar is basically um, changes how your CPU and your GPU interact to give you performance in the game. It's basically a way of information being loaded onto the GPU to be pulled for your sim to present the images that you see on the screen rather than doing it little by little. And, you know, we're, we're simulating the entire world in Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's very complex. And rather than just uh, basically exchanging bits of information one by one, it, it opens up a big space on your GPU to load all this information so that I, it so that, that it's all available for the sim. Um, makes it a, a lot more efficient in presenting the information that you see on your screen. So it makes it it, it reduces lag and stutters. Um, you know the dreaded before landing lag. Uh, it also will help your your performance probably five to ten percent. Uh, in terms of frames per second, but it's really a smoothness thing. Now, this one in particular, we have to be careful with. There are a couple things you can do that can mess up your computer. We're, we're getting into um, NVIDIA uh, Profile Inspector, which is a pretty powerful piece of uh, software. So first things first to see whether we can, uh, whether you can use this. Um, what you need to do uh, is two things. First of all, uh, you need to hit your Windows X key. So you hit your Win key and X at the same time. Come here to Disk Management. When this opens up, you want to locate wherever your Windows C drive is. Come over here to this Disk 1, which is where mine is located. Right click, go down to Properties, come over here to Volume volumes <laughs> and check your partition style if it's the gpt partition style you can use this it will work if it is the older style the mbr partition type you cannot use it and if you try using it with the mbr parti partition style you can mess up your computer so if it says mbr here don't do this I don't know anything about partitions. I don't know how they're changed, how they're updated, whether they can be updated. I know nothing about it. All I know is that the GPT partition style is fine for this. The MBR is not. So that's the first thing to check. If you've got GPT, we're good to go. All right. So the next thing you want to do is find out whether this is available on your system. So right click your desktop, go into NVIDIA control panel wait for a second for it to come up and then we want to come down here to system information click on system information this window is going to pop up and you've got your graphics card for me it's the nvidia geforce rtx 3080 ti now you come down here and this will if the, if you have the option of enabling resizable bar this will be here resizable bar if it says yes in this column it is enabled on your system. That doesn't mean it's using it in Microsoft Flight Simulator. It just means it's enabled on your system. If it says no here, what that means is that you have resizable bar available to you as an option, but it is not turned on in your BIOS. So what you're going to have to do is go into your BIOS settings and enable resizable bar. Now, there's countless you know permutations of what uh, what 
motherboards you guys have and what BIOS, you know, programs you have. So I can't tell you how to get into the BIOS and change your, turn your resizable bar setting on. Shouldn't be too complicated. It's, you just reboot to BIOS, look in your BIOS for resizable bar, turn it on, and then save, close out, reboot, and you're good to go. And come back in here and check again NVIDIA control panel, systems information, your graphics card, and then look here for resizable bar. It should say yes. Once that says yes, then you're good to go. You've got it enabled on your bi on your motherboard in your BIOS. You're good. Now you hit save. Uh, no, actually, you don't hit save because I don't need to. I've already got that uh, set. So um, now we know that you have... Uh, the ability to set this up. So come to NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Now, there's when you Google NVIDIA Profile Inspector, there's this, which is, there are two GitHub links, and then there's NVIDIAProfileInspector.com. I don't know what the difference is. All I know is that this is version 3.5. This one here on the GitHub page is version 2.404. So I came to NVIDIAProfileInspector.com downloaded the program now when you download it obviously you just save it it's a uh it's a zip file i extracted the zip file just in the same i, I have a pretty like uh, a system that i use for where i save things wherever you want to save it you can save you can take this folder and drag it to your desktop if you want it doesn't really matter wherever you want to save uh, the folder once it's unzipped go into the folder Go into the next folder, and then you've got NVIDIA Profile Inspector right here. Okay, so now double click on double click on NVIDIA Profile Inspector, and that's going to open the program. Couple things about NVIDIA Profile Inspector. First of all, if you are not running any other games or any other Sims on your computer, you can use this globe. You can make the changes that we're going to make in the global driver profile. I'm going to make the changes, even though I don't use anything else, I'm going to make the changes in the Microsoft Flight Simulator profile simply because I am paranoid. I just, you know, I don't want to mess anything up. Um, so what you do, you highlight this, and you click in here and type Microsoft Flight Simulator. Oh, yeah, yeah, if I could type it would be even better. Um... And the Microsoft Flight Simulator that you want is this one with nothing else, you know, just micro Microsoft Flight Simulator. Click on that, and it's going to show you this, you know, that 8WEKB, blah, 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 all this weird stuff. That's where your Flight Sim uh, program resides. That's where your EXE file is. So that's going to confirm for you that this is what you're looking at, right? Flight Simulator.exe. Now, a couple things. Um, in order to do this, you have to have uh, unknown settings enabled. So I've already clicked on this, but this second from the right button right here, it says show unknown settings from NVIDIA pre predefined pro uh, profiles. You have to enable that in order to access what we need to access. And there's a billion settings in here there's a ton of different things the things that are highlighted are things that have been changed in the video control panel by on the on the drive on the driver level um word of caution don't change anything else in here except what we're going to what we're going to talk about here in a second because if you change things in in nvidia profile inspector it can screw things up in your sim if you change something unintentionally like you know sometimes you accidentally click something and and maybe a value changes or you don't know whether a value changed or not whatever you come to here and uh you see this green uh nvidia you know logo right here it says restore current profile to nvidia defaults so if you mess anything up or if you're unsure and you want to start over again just click this green logo right here and it'll restore everything to the defaults and you'll be good to go. Um, so to get what we want to come for, um, we 
come down all the way down, 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 down. I may have already entered it actually. And I did. So what you want to do is you come down here to where the unknown section starts. It's a little bit weird, right? Um, and what we're looking for, it's going to be right here towards the top. You're looking for this F00BA, F00BB, and F00B, uh, excuse me, no, the F00FF, okay? So the BA, BB, and FF. So for the BA, what you want to do is click and highlight it, come over here to the drop down, and then select, see where it says 00001? You want to select one. For the BB, you want to highlight it. Come over here to the drop down. Again, select one. And then for the FF, highlight it. Click the drop down. And what you want is uh, this four setting. Let me make sure I'm doing the right one. This is kind of small. Um, all right, so now I've got the 001. I'm going to click out of there just so I can see it. So you've got the 001 for BA, the 001 for BV, and this bunch of zeros and a 4 for FF. Okay? Then you come up here, you click Apply Changes, and you're good to go. Um, and now you've got, or now I've got, uh, resizable bar enabled for Microsoft Flight Simulator. And again, this should improve the efficiency of the work between your CPU and your GPU. Um, you should see a 5 to 10% FPS increase, but really what we're looking for here is smoothness. So I'm going to give this a go and... Um, I've had a very smooth sim experience, um, but every every little bit helps. And so, give this one a try. Um, this is this is uh, something that has a lot of promise. I think this should work out really nice for a lot of people. So, um, any questions or comments, please put them in the uh, in the comment section. And I hope you guys are doing well.